Alright guys, today I have another app review for you. This is going to be on App Manager slash Apps to SD. And it's a very neat app. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's not really too much to it. But it's just a nice, really good interface for going ahead and looking at your apps and trying to move them to your SD card. So when you open it up, it basically looks like this. And the first list up here, you can see in the top up here, it says Movable. And these are all the apps that you can actually place on your SD card. It finds them all for you. Next, you can see what's on your SD card. I have uh, Snapseed on there right now. It's also nice that it shows you how much space it takes up right there in the app right there. And right here, these are all the thing apps that I have actually on my phone. Um, so very cool. It does give you your total count up here in the top. Um, and switches along the top as you go gives you some totals for available and total space and stuff like that on there also um, very easy to use now a couple things I want to point out to you guys is this little um, looks like a micro SD card with an X on it so for example on this application it has that and if you click lower right corner question it will tell you the reason it's showing you this little uh, micro SD card with the X in it and it's because that that app cannot listen uh, for boot complete events when it's on your SD card so it just wants to warn you that if you move it to your SD card some of the functionality may be taken away so it's really nice that it has it on there now I'm going to show you on one that doesn't have that you see there's no even option for that and you can do another one oh, that's, just, that's touching them so we'll do another one here really quick like uh, Google lower right corner and now this one says widgets won't work and sync adapters aren't going to function correctly if it's on the SD card. So I really do like that feature that tells you there's something that could go wrong if you move it. Um, so I like that a lot. Now I'm just going to show you another one I'm going to move. So if you want to move one you just click on it. Move to SD card and everything's moved. You can go back, and now you're going to see that here you go on SD card, you have two apps. So if you guys are trying to create more space on your actual internal phone memory, this is a great app for doing that. A uh, real great interface, like I was saying. Um, now there are some buttons along the bottom here, and you can check these out. It has to do with um, sorting orders, stuff you can do right there. We'll just do total size. Refresh, it'll repopulate all the applications on your phone, um, which is really nice to have. Settings, we can go through settings. There is something called App Manager. And actually, I'll show you that really quick here. So if you come to the top up here and you have Hidden Apps. So Hidden Apps is going to show you basically all the apps on your phone, not just the ones that are like downloaded and stuff like that. And you can see un Unhidden and Hidden. Um, and then if we go into the top, we go to App Manager. And here you can go ahead and you can like install, uninstall stuff. So if you hold down on one, you can um, right here it say delete on the bottom. You can go to App Information. And it's going to show you this screen. Um, and it's going to repopulate them again here. Or you can go back to settings. So pretty much what we're looking at here. You can see other things here. Install apps. View on Play Store, settings there also along with on the bottom, about, you can go ahead and check that out too, about App Manager 3 or App 2SD, however you want to call it. We're going to go back into settings, so show system apps, I didn't have that enabled, but like I said, if you went to App Manager, you would see them all right there. Um, count apps used, SD size, you can check that, hide ignore apps. Now this is right here, hide gray X apps. So that, that will hide the apps that have that even gray X on them that could, some of the functionality could get destroyed if it gets put on the SD card or not destroyed but messed up. Um, you can have those apps just hidden so they're not even an option. You have notifications here and it'll notify you when you install an app that can move to the SD card. So that's kind of a nice little notification if you're installing a lot of applications. 
and you know you can see folders and different things like that you do have themes you can go ahead and go like a blue theme and you can see how that's going to function different themes on it i really do like the light gray i think it's just an easy nice theme to look at and so on and so forth now there is a pro paid version of this which does unlock a couple extra features but really the free ad supported version like i have right here does work quite quite well um, absolutely absolutely like it a lot so just for an easy way to move your apps to your sd card and manage them also here it is this is apps to sd or app manager 3 hope you guys like this little review big props to developer on this thing it is awesome and we'll catch you guys next time root junkie out